efforts are paying off, young wolf. It's time for another dive, and another hall of coral for the deputy commander. Assuming, of course, that you can prevent the Deep from drowning you like a rat. Not that I'm worried about your capacity to do so, especially when Sloane's fighting by your side. She's always been one to shoulder a burden so that others need not. That's something I understand all too well. After the Iron Lords fell, I alone remained to keep the torches lit, to hold the banner high, and honor those who died in the line of duty. It was a lonely path. One I walked for centuries without complaint. Now, a legion of my former enemies walks beside me. I had forgotten what such camaraderie could be like. And I suspect the same holds true for Sloan. Keep that in mind when the two of you are in the depths. There's no weapon more powerful than the soldier standing next to you. So we're clear. Disrespect the commander again, I'll hurl you off the arcology like a shot put. That all it take to get you to surface? I'm betting the ocean floor feels like home sweet home now. Hey, Chief. Deputy Commander. Get swallowed up by anything big while you were out there? <sighs> Not much cover at seafloor. Before Asa, they tried. Doesn't sound so bad. Open space, cozy long girl. How'd you sleep? Like a lamb in power armor. Stay on mission. And don't call her that. Since you strapped on that rig and walked out into the deep, I've been itching to know. You regret it? <laughs> Worried you couldn't hack it? From what I hear, you're a survivalist. <laughs> I've run from every damn thing, if that's surviving. But, uh, you commit. Uh, I'm fixing to commit to something stupid myself. Get swept up in a cause. So be real. You regret it? The Vanguard had a file on you. Doesn't paint you as the hero type. You might regret it. Well, ain't that the truth. Deploying Sunameter. This whole shelf is contaminated.
I've seen you run moats faster than this. Pick it up. I just tangled with a massive taken knight. Clocked them, but they're right behind me. I'll keep their attention. Wait. They're gone. That knight's headed your way, hero. Get ready for a showdown. the backup I could have saved myself the leg cramps <sighs> let's exfil get this back to the long girl yes I like it and hear what she's got for us see it grows on you talking with her must be a trip and a half <laughs> it's a bit like wandering out into the dark you're lost for a minute but then your eyes adjust and you acclimate Things normalize. One foot in front of the other. Funny how many things work like that. Ain't that the truth.
remember that from an old report. Still have a mind like a steel trap, sir. Kutazad was a field captain for Savathun before Titan went dark. And now they serve Zeebor Wrath? Taken, scorn, wrathborn. She forms all conquered adversaries into her armies, doesn't she? Not all of them. Just the strongest, or those she's looking to use as a weapon. Not just to fight, but to hurt. Psychologically. She's defacing everything Savathun touched on Titan. When it comes to her sister, it seems more emotional than strategic. Oh, hey there, Valis. Germaine, or is it Dredge and Hope? No. <sighs> you know it's drifted these days. Has been for a long time. I was just speaking with the deputy commander. She's ready for you. How's she holding up? Sloane is a soldier, and that role has given her purpose. Hope. But she has been through a great ordeal. Her own personal dark age. Yeah. That's a bad hand to be dealt. Maybe this can wait. Unless you want to tip one back. Talk about the bad old days. <laughs> what is that? Motor oil? Battery acid? <clears throat> Only one way to find out. You and I are among the oldest of our kind. Centuries we've orbited each other. Why now? Why not? Maybe another time. <laughs> I think Kaido's actually mellowed that old wolf out a bit. The plan's working. It's getting easier for me to parse Asa's thoughts, like a picture coming into focus. Other things are a little harder for me to wrap my head around. When I first heard of Saladin's Iron War Beasts, I... didn't know what to think. We lost a lot of people in the Red War. The Empire took so much away from us, and now Saladin commands an Imperial Legion? They're the reason we had to fall back and regroup on Titan. Why I had to send fire teams down into the Arcology, never to return. Those Guardians died under my orders. They paid for our foothold in blood. When the Pyramids arrived, there was no way in hell I'd give it all up without a fight. This? This is nothing compared to what others sacrificed. Completing the mission is how I honor them. Just like Saladin honors the Iron Lords. No matter who he leads into battle against our enemies. Stay the course, Guardian. Once Asa and I are ready again, it's back into the depths for us. Yeah. 
Saladin Forge. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just thinking about the bad old days, like you said. And that bar you used to tend at the base of Felwinter Peak. You went by Wu Ming, as I recall. Made some coin selling drinks to the Iron Lords. Then spent it hiring them to do jobs on the side. Remember all of that? Yeah, I remember. You left out the part where you threatened to burn it down. Maybe I should have. I never asked you why you ran that little operation. What did you stand to gain? With how your pack of wolves tipped their bartender? Not much. That place never got too busy, but... I had my regulars, and they all had their problems. Some of them just weren't that easy to see from on top of a mountain. Maybe I wanted to call them to your attention. Ah, uh, so you had a better perspective. Not better, just different. Uh, I suppose I could see the value in that. Everything's got value, old wolf. You just gotta know where to look.